don't have any doubt in my mind whatsoever that the whole pardon uh, bazaar was organized in honor of uh, Alamisia. You can have 1,000 ex-convicts on the list. You can have the names of 1,000 convicts on the list, but we know that the whole thing was for Alamisia. I don't think we need to beat about the bush. Why did you that. say that? Well, I'm sure you read in the papers yesterday. Some of the people that were granted pardon in 1999, you just suddenly found their names again. Mm. I think it's just an attempt to make it look like, uh, you know, this federal character thing, you know, we pardon Southerners, we pardon Northerners, we pardon this, we, we have pardon, to pardon the South South so, person too. Um, we also have uh, Bulama who was convicted for wrecking Bank of the North, he's been pardoned, uh, and which is a signal to bank chiefs who are currently undergoing trial for, the, for wrecking banks in the last two, three years. I think they have a hope that they will be pardoned to if they are remorseful enough. Um, <laughs> And also, uh, uh, somebody from the East, uh, Dr. Chichi Ashwe, who was a failed bank chief uh, that was uh, convicted under General Sonia Bacha, was also pardoned. Uh, and the fact that the government has spent so much energy defending the pardon of Alamisia shows us that that is actually the, the star of the whole show. So why would you think he is the person to look out for on that list? Well, uh, I, I know for sure that the president has been, having, has been criticized by militants in recent times. Um, I think even Asari Dokubo granted an interview where he more or less wrote off the president. And I'm aware that the, the, the government also reached out to these militants. I would not be surprised if this is one of the demands they are making. And uh, I'm also, I, I have a feeling this has to do with 2015. I have that gut feeling that this has to do with 2015.